You want to take us into uh, what's w the latest news in the Hummer EV world? Yeah, well, you know, I saw I saw a, a recent um, uh, article uh, just kind of reminding people, and, and I know it's GM's way of, of just kind of putting their feelers out. So today, um, you know, the day is uh, uh, they said that you could reserve one on October 20th of 2020. And as I go to their website, I find it. It says, see it, reserve it, 10, 20, 20. And like I said, sorry, I could not find anything for that. I asked them, and it says, see it, reserve it right there, and they can't even answer me. So I don't know. Uh, you well, should you be know able to reserve it. Well, you know what I say, it. Jay? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you can't – what is the old? You can't, you can't ask a leopard to change its spots. You know, GM going to GM, <laughs> right? I mean, it's like they get GM so gonna GM, close. Yeah. To the finish line, yeah. and then somebody yeah. pukes on their shoes. I, I just, it, well, I was just having this conversation with my son over the weekend about the Corvette thing, and he's like, "Why is this such a hard vehicle to get their hands on? Why right. it has been yeah. in production now for well over a year? What are they doing?" Well, they're starting to show up. I mean, as you well know, we t uh, I was able to get into one. Um, a few weeks back but it was in the, gone in, in the 60 CA. seconds yes it was it was gone in 60 seconds that's funny you put that in there right right oh, i was thinking more of a but I, it literally they're not sitting on the lot that long right and and no. here's what it boils down to and look i'm not i don't want to turn this into a corvette segment we've done plenty of those but mm. if you have in in an in an era where you are showing losses to your shareholders, okay? Mm -hmm. Talking talking about General Motors. Yep. They all are, but General Motors right. significantly. And you are producing products that are in huge demand, and there is more of a demand for them right now than you have a supply of. And if you're making a profit on each one of those vehicles that you produce that's in demand, why wouldn't you make more of them, right? right. And so yeah. Sideshot said, now I, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but I really don't understand why it isn't just that simple. Sideshot said, well, maybe they're trying to keep the value of those up, you know, exclusivity and all that, limited edition. And I went, right, well, then it would be a limited edition. I mean, it's a Corvette. It's not, I'm, no right. offense to Corvette owners, this is not a $500,000 Ferrari. That no, they only make a, 500 of. This it's is a, a, at best, it's at best yeah. you can get over 100,000 with all bells and whistles. But the one I sat in was the Z51 package, man, loaded for uh, under 85,000 I mean, or just right you, at 85,000. Have I you say. ever known Corvette to say, we're only going to produce? No. No. 5,000 of these for the year or 10,000 or. It's, it's their flagship sports car man i mean why would you i mean they're i mean they put a lot on the line by going from a um a front engine to a mid-engine vehicle and completely changing and then promptly and just then to refuse just do, to make enough to do to this keep, yeah i i don't well yeah, okay okay so so let's hope so back to back to rivian <laughs> i mean back to uh hummer, hummer. yeah yeah uh, are they gonna i mean is this all a marketing stunt or what you know well it's funny you say that because um you know some of the things that i got into when i was looking at you know the information out there now they have been talking about this since last year we saw the reveal what was it january yeah well they um, ran a super bowl they, ad did they, they ran not? a super bowl ad yeah. yeah they ran a super bowl ad and you had the whole lebron james thing and um uh the quiet revolution thing that they kept saying it was going to be and, and you know that was on the heels of you know ford you know revealing their 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 all-electric f-150 um you know this big huge push for all electric vehicles man coming um so the Hummer, uh, this is actually a good thing, I, I think, for them. I don't know how they would be able to market a, a gasoline Hummer ever again in, in, in our well, market. But I, You know, if you want to you make the argument, you know, they're doing big SUVs right now already. Yes. Uh, where does that fit? I mean, are you going to take sales away from I'll, a Tahoe I'll or tell a you Suburban? Where. No, that's not where they're going after. They're not going after it. Now, just think about what the Hummer was originally. It was a military vehicle, right? Yeah. 
And the military bought those things up like crazy. And they were utilized very well. Now, a lot of them, they had the diesels in them. They had Detroit diesels in them. And then they went to gasoline, and then they started downsizing them for Consumer. you know, yeah. consumers and stuff. Now, I think GM is seeing a golden opportunity. I read that um, the military is actually very interested in this vehicle and have side-by-side side with GM uh, talked about some of the things they'd like to see on it. So they keep throwing this in our face where it's got crab-like movement. Um, remember not long ago, was it Rivian that had the, the tank yeah. mode? Um, so that's why the I think that the military, the Department of Defense, is very interested in this because it's quiet. That's a key. And it's a reliable source, um, a reliable mode of transportation giving the ranges... Well, and you don't have um, that, to deal with air filtration on an intake on an EV and some of these, uh, right. you know, um, right. desert terrain type, you know, sandstorm type situations. That's right. So I Theaters. think that this could be, especially for all of you Schwarzeneggers out there, this could be your way of getting back into a Hummer out there and, and, and poking your chest out because, hey, the military drives those things. So. But, but... You know, and this is the big question. GM seems to have so many great ideas lately, and it's the execution of those ideas. You know, well, back to the Corvette, the Lyric thing, not being able to, what this Hummer EV, the website, not being kind of completely together to guide you. Um, you know, the execution part seems to be where they are not great. Well, it's funny you say that. Um, just before we came on air, uh, I was watching a news conference from your neck of the woods. Um, and GM was on site at the one of the largest, um, most modern uh, plants uh, in the country. Yeah, that's um, Spring Hill. I was actually Spring just Hill drove plant. past it over the weekend. Yeah, so this was this morning. And basically, GM is investing $2 billion in, in the Spring Hill plant to build electric vehicles, including the Cadillac Lyric, okay? Um, they it, basically, they're, and by the way, this is in Spring Hill, Tennessee, for those of you that don't know that. No, no, um, no. It's Spring Hill, Michigan. Don't move here. Don't look at that. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't even yeah, think yeah, about yeah. it. Don't pull open Google Maps. It's so, in so, uh, it's in it's in Dirk Durkistan somewhere, you know. Dirk Dirk. <laughs> right, 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 right. Well, hey man, um, we're, yeah, you don't want like you don't say, really want to. We're closed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go back home, please. Go, you go now. Um, so, also on the heels of of them saying that, uh, GM basically says it will also spend another one hundred and fifty. $53 million to upgrade five Michigan factories for future vehicles as well. Uh, the company will build the Cadillac Lyric, uh, a small electric uh, SUV uh, at the Spring Hill plant. So wait, uh, so there's a connection here. I'm trying to figure it out. Lyric, like music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In Tennessee. Yep. Hmm, let's yep. see. If Kinda I makes carry sense, the one, it? divide by two. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, 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 I get it. Interesting, I get it. right? Music lyric. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. You get that now, right? So. That's what, that's what we is, call an Easter egg, Jay. In the this early is why reveal. I wanted to talk about this today with this, because I, both of these stories, I believe, are very connected. Okay. Okay. Today, today, you can supposedly reserve the Hummer. Yeah. And today, we learn where the Cadillac lyric is going to be, and that that is going to that plant is going to be a major player in the ev market in assembly of those vehicles funny how the cadillac lyric just happens to be on an suv chassis or platform hmm what's the hummer hmm what are we thinking hmm you see what i'm see where i'm going with this guy uh, you lost me at electric sorry uh no i'm kidding <laughs> so so now do you have a re- so so there okay so let's let's take that a step further right right we're taking orders for hummers allegedly mm-hmm. okay soon yep next yep whatever by the time this next. podcast comes out by the time this yep yep do we have a production date for the lyric so the lyric is due in showroom sometime late in 2022. Okay. Um, so G, GM is here. You go. GM is now, also now wait, expected. Now, now Jay. Now. Yeah. 
GM has never, ever in their history, ever used the same platform to produce two different vehicles sold under two different badges <laughs> in the same facility. Ooh. Right? That's did never we a, happened before, did, right? Do we, yeah, do we, do we have a, didn't we have a podcast on this or something like some time ago? Yeah, you know, you could go back and check us out. Yeah. Now, uh, so. to be fair, I don't think they're going to look that similar. But oh, obviously not. But that doesn't matter if you if anybody out there knows anything about how EVs work, and you get it, um, they are very diverse in what you can do with their platforms. Sure. So I I foresee this being part of it. And in this same article, and by the way, I'm quoting the Tennessean. Um, it says the Lyric is due in showrooms again uh, sometime in late 2022. Um, GM is also expected to announce details of an all electric GMC Hummer pickup truck this week. <laughs> um, they're among 20 electric vehicles uh, the company plans to sell globally by 2023. GM has already announced that electric vehicles will be built at its plant in Orion Township, Michigan, and at the Detroit Hamtramck plant uh which straddles the border between the city of detroit and uh the hamlet so of ham again people if you are looking for automotive work uh those are the cities that you need to move to and inquire okay just uh just th- those last two specifically. let me tell you why this Not also Hill, makes sense we're closed okay? yeah they're close but let me tell you why this makes sense to me because currently this it is a 7.9 million square foot facility it employs about 3,400 hourly workers who are actually making. They're going to still continue to build the Cadillac XT5 and XT6 gas uh, power vehicles, um, as well as the SUV. For now, um, I can see that this pa- changing though. Yeah, but this particular complex, um, which just happens to be GM's biggest in North America also makes four engines that go into GM trucks and SUVs. Oh, it's massive. It's it's a yeah, it huge is. facility. And honestly, um, they built the town around it. So they chose this area, and it was kind of out on a farm in farm mm-hmm. property, you know, right. t- a couple decades ago, I think, right? Like, what was it, early, mid-'90s? I think so, yeah. I was living there, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then just the town just exploded around it because you moved all these people in that needed to work there. So... Um, they have literally built kind of, kind of, we built this city kind of thing, you know, that, that yeah, area it, pretty it, much. It is, yeah. they had a lot of property and, and still do. Well, and to that point, that sir is why hockey works in Nashville. Am I right? You, yeah. You moved all the Detroit. Lot you got all the Rust Belt. You got all the Rust Belt people. Yep, I yep. remember the first Predators game that I ever went to, man. And it was a Detroit Red, Red Wings game. Yeah, I, I thought I was in Detroit. There were so many Red Wings fans. Did they bring that but, octopus thing and throw it out on the? <laughs> they did, man. They yeah. did. Speaking of octopus, man, we got the Seattle Kraken. Yeah, uh, the new expansion team, the NHL expansion team. Hey, maybe we'll do a show on hockey. Okay. Hey, what the puck, man? We got nothing else going on, right? <laughs> I see what you did there. So, um, anyway, to wrap this particular story up, let me let me just give you a little bit more information because I think this is really intriguing, and I want to follow this and see where this goes because I got a strange feeling we're going to have a, I hate to say I told you so episode again. Um, other factories from GM uh, that are getting investments include the $100 million being spent at the Delta Township plant near Lansing, Michigan to make the GMC Acadia crossover SUV. Um, That SUV will be transferred from Spring Hill. See, they're making room. Uh, GM's Flint assembly plant will get get $32 million for future production of heavy-duty pickup trucks, while the powertrain plant in Romulus, Michigan, will get an additional $17 million for automation and to increase the output of a 10-speed automatic transmission that goes into pickups and large SUVs. Um, The Orion Township plant will get $3.5 million. Uh, and a plant in Brownstown Township will get seven hundred fifty thousand, both both to help build a test vehicle for uh, wow the cruise autonomous vehicle unit. Interesting. So you know, Mary Barra has taken a lot of heat for you know her vision, um, mm-hmm. and and I can see you know lover or hater she's made some big changes. Um, right. But she has been vocal in saying, um, you know, I we're going to have to 
a smaller GM is going to be one of the more end results of her her leadership tenure. Yep. And what you're starting to see, and we've already been seeing this, but they're moving pieces on the board and they're putting more vehicle production in fewer sites. Mm -hmm. Right? So right. that Spring Hill plant's an example. Some of these other ones, they're dumping money into them, but they're trying to be more efficient in what the output of those facilities are. And I think... exactly. That's the old days of kind of building one or two vehicles in a plant, uh, few and far in between now. Unless it's right. just a wildly popular vehicle that you have to crank out, you know, huh, just... But honestly, there are so many car choices on the road nowadays. I just don't mm -hmm. see that being the case. No. I can see it with trucks. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking like, you know, you know full-size pickup trucks. Remember, I mean, several months back when COVID really started kind of taking over the country which by the way folks i mean do everything you can to do your part because it does based on st statistics at the very moment that this we're going to get a second wave of this thing and that's why in the beginning of this thing you know welcome to the show we're sponsored by you know the, the 2020 2021 cold and flu season because guys don't take it lightly be serious be you know love thy neighbor that's all i got to say um and that, that's as far as I'll go. But we talked about this several months ago when this thing hit at how advantageous this thing is probably going to be in the favor of automakers because it's a good excuse for them to kind of say, well, we can't have that close proximity worker anymore. Um, so how do we how do we how do we address that challenge? Automation. Right. Let's automate. Yep. And yep. that's what you're getting, guys. And now and that's instead why these... of fighting the unions head on mm -hmm. about regulations, they, don't have to. they can say they can cite health issues COVID. Yeah, and COVID. say we can, we're not legally allowed to do that anymore and then they just no. you know if we do get a virus or we do get a vaccine um they just never go back right they throw just a never robot go back at it man the old way yeah 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 that's it man it's, it's so people pay attention you know and like like we have said on our show uh, you might think about stepping back and retooling your your future i mean don't 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 wait for it to to come to you because we get on the other side of this thing, and I have confidence that we will get on the other side of this thing. Um, things are going to look a lot different, and uh, you know, just just pay attention, folks. So anyway, yeah. so there you go. So that's my um, my Hummer EV slash uh, welcome to the Cadillac uh, Lyric Plant uh, edition. Um, so do we want to take a minute and tell people where they can find us, Keith? I uh, sounds like you're. Uh Sounds like you're about to do that. Yeah, I, I think so. So, guys, if you like what you're listening to, please subscribe to our podcast. You can do that by simply going to our website, which is parscountyguru.com, and you'll see a tab up there that says podcast links. You can go on every major um, platform, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn. I think we're even now on, like, Amazon Podcast, right? I mean, we're... That is correct. We're, yes. we're everywhere. We're on Google Podcasts. We're on Apple uh, podcast just just go to our website parts kind of guru .com. you'll get what you need anytime we mention something on this podcast also um we will we will put a link up on there you'll see the mention on the podcast link for that specific episode so you know take notes go on there but we would really love your subscription and, and your follow to follow us there also we do a lot of things on social media we're on uh, facebook.com forward slash uh, parts kind of gurus uh, while you're there give us a like uh share it tell a friend um just be, be paying attention to uh some of the notifications that we put out there and also some of the we'll put some short segment videos there as well we also do that on instagram uh which is instagram.com forward slash the parts kind of gurus you can also check us out over on twitter um that's twitter.com uh we are at the counter show which is what you are listening to right now the cart uh the parts kind of guru counter show or the counter show um it, again any of these video segments that you uh you're interested in watching um we have a youtube channel over there as well and it's youtube.com forward slash parts counter gurus here's the deal there though guys we need your subscriptions um we want to keep this thing going we can't do it without your help um, so please, while you're watching, uh, just 
hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you know when we put a new video out. Uh, we live and die by those things, man. Your subscription to our channel is free to you, but man, it means so much to us. It's priceless to us. So please help us out and support us. Otherwise, just keep staying tuned, man. We'll we'll um, we'll keep putting stuff out there for you. So anyway, you got anything to add to that? Yeah, I, I just want to say, you know, we talked about the Amazon vans earlier. If they're ordering a hundred thousand of these EV vans, you know, they ain't hurting, so to speak. And, right. uh, you know, since we since I since I have a window and I occasionally look out it and I see these vans rolling up and down the neighborhood, I know you all are buying crap on Amazon. I know it. Right. right? So if you're going to buy crap, like I always say, actually, I don't think I've ever said this, but if you're going to buy crap on Amazon, why not do it through our site? Because it doesn't cost you any more. And uh, we get a little uh, affiliate credit, which helps mm -hmm. support the show. So yeah. buy to your heart's content, get that truck out there 17 times or 17 different trucks out in the same day, whatever. But I know y'all are doing that because I've seen the trucks. So please go to our website, partscounterguru.com, click on the Amazon banner, and shop to your heart's content. Please, please, you. yeah. We have no idea what you're, who you are. It just helps us out, man. Yep. It just, we're, we're, a, we're a link. Um, speaking of being able to buy things through Amazon, let's talk about what you ha are wearing today, which did not come from Amazon. I'm not sure if you could buy it from Amazon, but maybe you want to share with people what you have there? Yeah, so I actually did look. Uh, there are some on Amazon. However, this is officially from the Eddie Van Halen store. Okay, mm, I'm not sure nice. if I can turn around with this cord on. Uh, there's a big guitar on the back. I, I can't I can't pull it off. But I'll it's end up good. like, you know, you'll see oh, legs maybe we'll put a, yeah, yeah, Maybe you'll put a picture or link up. But this was a yeah, birthday whatever. present from Jay. Thank you, Jay. Um, Happy birthday, buddy. And uh, Which is timing, soon, obviously, so. obvious timing there. Uh, very, very uh, sad. Uh, we're going to get into this, I think, like in the next podcast. Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah, we, we should. But uh, Eddie was a huge, talking about Eddie Van Halen, Eddie was a huge influence in both of our lives. Uh, musically, in my uh, years as a music student he was always somebody that fascinated me so um yeah so I don't, I don't even know you know now if these things are available people have just you know cleaned them out and their record sales are up and all that but uh i got one yeah it's yeah it's yeah yeah you do man yeah you do congratulations on that um i'm glad i'm glad i was able to uh, yeah, uh get in there before everybody else rummaged through the, <laughs> what they had because it seriously because they were they were uh, they just basically prepared everybody for for mass oh, delays yeah. because of it, and um, so I was like one of the first ones, you know, right after Eddie passed, to be able to get in there. I just kind of use my head a little bit there and go, hmm, you know, I, I think I see what's going to happen here. So, yeah. So, so um, was, but you, you know, look, if you're going to go out and buy some uh, Van Halen memorabilia, and you can yeah. find some things on Amazon, yep. I saw some cool Frankenstrat face masks. Yes. On Amazon. So Absolutely. Hey, go, but use our link. Yeah, that's it.